Dart has gone. I've got more room in the garage, got the truck in, got one less car. That's great. So I did the right thing and went and bought another car. Decided to buy my daughter her first car, so a Fiat 500 we've been looking for. Uh, been looking on the old interwebs for a while, finding a lot with Cat C, Cat D, Cat S, Cat N, the latest categories without a suspension or body damage. They all seem to have it, even the ones in dealerships uh, seem to have a bit of a history. So I found one on the old eBay interweb, um, one owner from new, 90,000 miles. Honest car, had a clutch replacement, got a noisy gearbox so it was being sold cheap for the reason it probably needs a gearbox replacement. Service, couple of repairs, dint in the sill, but it's had new tyres, new brakes, new MOT, um, just looked honest car. So uh, I did the next right thing and just bid on it and won it. Um, then didn't go and look at it because of the Covid and just basically arranged a transporter to go and pick it up bring it home and it is arriving later today Woo so the cars arrived uh, in fact it arrived when I got home from work on Friday afternoon it was actually parked on the drive transporter guy just waiting there for me to take the keys off him which was pretty nice um, quite a surreal experience just pay your money over the interweb speak to the owner for a couple of minutes and a few days later the car turns up on the drive so heart in the mouth moment have I bought a lemon have I bought a good one let's go and have a walk round 2010 1.2 with panoramic sunroof lounge don't quite sure what the spec of that is but it's got alloy wheels new tyres on it bit of paint to do down there on the sill so on this side looks okay not quite sure what that is I think it's, oh, it's a bit of a sticker um, no panel damage down this side. Looks okay inside, I think it just needs a good clean over all the doors and around the steering wheel, always happens because it's a cream steering wheel and everyone's touching it, can't be helped. Seats are good, no rips, no damage, just a little bit of wear on the bolster as you'd expect. Bit of a tiny up in the back. I think it's got heated seats, I think they said. Electric windows. Has it got heated seats? Don't know, I can't see. Not sure what that is. Windows mobile. Anyway, um, yeah, all looks okay. That's the damage I knew about, so it's got a bit of a in the sill there that needs pulling out and filling over and sawing out. Other than that, all looks pretty good. Oh, a little spot of rust there. A little spot down there as well too, but obviously I want to take in the body shop and get this sorted out. I'll point those bits out to him. I'm sure these wheels are going to clean up better than that. I'm sure all this has got to come off easy. What's potentially wrong with it is the previous owner said that the gearbox the garage had recommended the gearbox to be replaced uh, because it was smelling of burning oil but it's not an auto so I don't know why you'd have an early oil smell from a gearbox um, my hunch is it's leaking oil from the engine onto the exhaust and that's causing the smell but I can always drop the gearbox oil do analysis have a look so let's open the bonnet first impressions are the engine is minuscule having worked on V8s for so long and big American cars but the important stuff like the chassis rails, they look straight down either side. This is just filthy and needs cleaning. Um, there is a bit of a smell of gearbox oil, so there could be something going on down here um, that needs looking at. Probably going to be easy to get underneath it and see and take it from there. But yeah. There we go. Uh, let's get it fired up and see what it sounds like. Well, it runs sweet enough. Sounds nice. A bit nicely warmed up, if nothing else. It's a bit nicer to work on inside, isn't it? And I'll just start, well, tinkering and cleaning, I think, and let's see what we can do to make it look a bit more presentable for my daughter.
I think the weather's against me really now. It's starting to actually snow outside. It's nearly like a blizzard. So I've just come to the interior to have a quick look and you can't help but uh, just try cleaning a little bit up. It's quite satisfying really. I don't know why I do enjoy it. Um, I mean, it can't be, as I say, it can't be helped with the steering wheel with this. It's white and doesn't half show the dirt up. I mean, you can see on here as well. Now this stuff is absolutely wonderful. Elbow grease. Just spray a bit of it on. We'll just up to that seam there. Just agitate it in a bit. And look at that there. It's absolutely a different colour. Look at that. It's absolutely wonderful this stuff. I actually might start showering in it. I can't believe that. I really cannot believe how clean that is clean dirty clean dirty and uh, well it's just general wear and tear it's it's my Merc was the same when I got it and you just it's just dirt builds up it's not that you owned it before it was dirty or anything far from it it's just 10 years of grime and that's what happens with cars and I'm absolutely thrilled to bits with it for a oh what really happy with it really pleased i think it's a great buy got a couple of known problems got the gearbox uh, it's got a dent in the sill can't see any other dents in it there's a couple of little scratches and scrapes a little bit of rust on the sill just superficial which i'll get painted when i get the sill painted at a workshop i can't do that myself uh give it a clean inside this stuff wonderful might use it in the shower I can't believe how well that has cleaned up. Uh, I might just do the whole steering wheel. Uh, the car is absolutely brilliant. It's exactly as described. One owner from new, new tyres, new pads, new discs, new MOT. Honest that it, that it has this problem where you can smell oil when you're driving it with a gearbox. I haven't even driven it yet, uh, so I need to do that. And I'm pleased, so watch out for future episodes of deep cleaning and let's see what the gearbox is and let's hope it's nothing and my daughter's on the road pretty quick. Uh, overall impressions are uh, the car's pretty good. I've uh, done a bit of a clean inside, had a walk round. I always like to just wash a car and have a good walk round. You get to see all the panels, see all the dints. And there aren't many really. Um, just on that passenger side, sill. Uh, the rest of it, the paint's a bit flat. Just needs a bit of a, of a detailing really. Uh, you know, in all the crevices where you get a bit of a dirt build up, it's such a light colour it shows up so it's really going to sort of um, pop when it's done probably some new number plates, the screws are a bit corroded there been for a little drive in it there's a bit of a transmission noise or it could be brakes binding because they did say they haven't used it for six months uh, just rubbing um, there's something needs going on underneath but I did buy it like that knowing it was a potential gearbox swap so if it does end up a gearbox then you know there's no surprises there so uh, pretty pleased I'm sure the daughter will be pleased when she sees it, hopefully, I hope so, if she's not, I'm having it, and uh, until another episode, please like, subscribe, and we'll hopefully have it in the garage soon, probably give it a service, uh, and investigate that gearbox a lot more, thank you very much, bye. Channel sponsor, I'm going for elbow grease. <laughs>